If you're new to intermittent fasting or you want to use intermittent fasting in order to achieve a weight loss goal or a wellness goal, it's really important that you understand how to actually plan your meals for success with intermittent fasting. So today I wanted to actually be able to walk you through step-by-step step my whole process of how I plan my meals with intermittent fasting in order to stay in that fat burning state and have really high energy levels throughout the day in today's video. All right guys, if you're new to my channel and you don't know who I am, my name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. On my channel, I'm typically talking about the science back and holistic methods that you can use in order to achieve your wellness dreams. So if you have a wellness goal in mind, make sure you subscribe. Now, first things first when planning meals, that's very important is to stay organized. So I actually have this running note section on my phone and I'll be using this to walk you guys through this whole process. So you'll see this pop up right here so you can follow along. Now, when I plan my meals for a week of intermittent fasting, I'm mostly focused on the dinners because a lot of my breakfast and my lunches stay fairly consistent throughout the week. So you can see I start off with a blank slate from Monday through Thursday for those dinner meals. And below that I have my actual grocery list section. So at the top I have my meals for the week and then below it I have what I need for the week. And if you have an iPhone, then this is actually just within the note section. And you can see at the top corner, there's a little plus icon where you can actually share it with someone as well who also has an iPhone. I really like this feature because I go shopping with my fiance and if I ever forget my phone, then he has his and the list is shared with him. So we can just work off his phone as well. Now, personally, my eating window is from roughly 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I go with a three meal structure. And my first meal is generally going to be either a smoothie, a chia brekkie bowl, or some type of Greek yogurt bowl. And what's really great about all three of these, especially if you're using the complete intermittent fasting bundle protocol recipes, is that a lot of them use the same ingredients. So if you don't particularly feel like a smoothie one day, you can use a lot of those same ingredients for the Greek yogurt bowl or to make a chia brekkie bowl. And a lot of the ingredients for all three of these are generally fairly non-perishable, so things like chia seeds, cacao nibs, coconut flakes, almond butter, peanut butter, those things are going to last a long time either on the shelf or in the fridge or in the freezer if you have frozen fruit. So when it comes to planning what I need for my break fast, I just check to see what I've run out of. So you can see I've added chia seeds already to this list. I actually think I also need almond butter, so I'm going to add that in as well. Actually, also Greek yogurt. That's what I like to use lately for my protein source. You can also use protein powder, of course, but I've just lately been liking using Greek yogurt instead. So I'll just put down what it is that I know I need in order to make any of those recipes so that I have some options to switch up depending on how I'm feeling that day for my break fast. Now lunch is another one of those meals that I kind of just get into a system of having the same thing for months at a time and then I switch it up. Lunch is that one meal that we want to just be quick, easy to throw together and something that we can bring on the go with us if necessary. So during the summer, it's usually going to be some type of salad with high quality protein, high quality sources of fat in order to keep me satiated within my eating window. I really love the crunchy kimchi salad from my complete intermittent fasting bundle, but I'll also just make something sort of on the fly depending on what ingredients I have available in the fridge. But something I've been having lately, especially with working from home, or some type of egg scramble or an egg salad. Eggs are amazing for your source of protein with intermittent fasting because it's really great, has a high quality source of protein and fat to keep your blood glucose level stable, help your body tap into fat burning mechanisms while keeping the insulin response fairly low. Plus it's a really great inexpensive option for a protein source. So for this week with lunches, I'm probably going to be having some type of egg scramble with the sauteed cabbage and onion combination I really like. Maybe throwing in a little bit of cheese in there, or olives, but I'll just make sure I have all of those available because again, those are foods that aren't going to go bad very quickly in the fridge. Now, I know I have cheese from last week already, some sharp cheddar in the fridge, and I actually already have eggs in there as well. Eggs, unlike a lot of other proteins, don't have as short of a shelf life, shelf life within the fridge. So all I really need is going to be cabbage, and it looks like I also need onions as well. I like to saute my eggs for lunch with some type of butter, grass-fed butter, and I know I don't have any salted in there right now, so I'm gonna add salted butter. So that really simply and really easily covers my breakfast and my lunch. You can see it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. I know I had a lot of ingredients already on hand, but that's what's really great about these is that they don't require a ton of perishable, quickly perishable ingredients that you need to be buying every single week. You can actually have a fair amount of these non-perishable or at least semi non-perishable items that are going to only need to be restocked once a month or so. All right, now getting into my dinners. So the first things first I always think about and I always tell my clients is where's your protein source? Always think of where your protein source is coming from when you're planning your dinners. This is going to be especially important for intermittent fasting. Make sure you're getting enough amino acids to support muscle recovery, to support creating new cells, new hormones, because it is pretty easy to accidentally under eat on protein, especially with intermittent fasting. So whenever you are going to eat, you always wanna make sure, okay, 
where's my protein source coming from and making sure that you get enough of that, which I do have a video on how you can determine your protein needs. You can check that out right here. Now, I actually don't buy a lot of my proteins from the grocery store. I like to actually use it from a source called ButcherBox. It's a really great delivery service where you can get high quality sources of meat or chicken or fish that's delivered to you and you just store in your freezer and you have it available to you whenever you need it. I personally like this option because I found it's a little bit less expensive or fairly equivalent to buying it at Whole Foods, which is local to me, but it's a consistently high quality source, which can sometimes be hard to find at the grocery store. So as you guys can see, yeah, I already have the frozen fruits that I've mentioned for my smoothies, but then I also have a lot of proteins that I already have in the freezer. So I don't need to be buying these or adding these to my grocery list. So I'll just make sure to thaw these out at least a day in advance so that they're ready for when I'm ready to use it. And you don't have to use an animal-based protein. There are a lot of other plant-based or vegetarian sources of protein. So of course we know lentils, tempeh, various sources of beans. Those are all great sources of plant-based protein. Or the vegetarian options, eggs being one of my favorite, halloumi, Greek yogurt, all those are additional sources that you can use that aren't necessarily meat. I've just found that I personally do a little bit better when I have more animal-based sources of protein, but it just depends on how your body responds to various proteins. Just make sure that whichever protein source you're choosing it best fits you and your goals now since I have my protein source already now I just need to build the meals around that and I always make sure to have at the very least a high quality source of non-starchy vegetables so this includes things like broccoli or cauliflower Brussels sprouts those are some of my personal favorites that I have pretty much every single week and I'll either choose recipes from the complete intermittent fasting bundle that encompass all of those ingredients or I'll kind of just make up my own recipes whatever I'm feeling like or if I'm testing out new recipes for the bundle as well now since I know we have ground beef in there I'm going to add on here as one the Spanish meatballs with roasted cauliflower. Yeah, I'll keep it at that. So Spanish meatballs is a recipe from the complete intermittent fasting bundle and I'll just pair that with some roasted cauliflower. So now I'll go down to here, add cauliflower, and then I'm going to check what it is that I need to make the Spanish meatballs. Okay, so this recipe calls for spicy sausage, which I know I don't have. I don't have fresh parsley, so I'll add on here parsley and a can of diced tomatoes for the sauce. And then everything else I have because the rest are spices, which again, always have on hand. <laughs> okay, so that covers Monday night. And I like to use a variety of protein sources just to mix it up so you're not getting the same thing and getting that food fatigue that can really lead you astray from your weight loss goals. So Trevor, my fiance has lately been making some grilled yogurt chicken. So it's just kind of a recipe we throw together where we marinate the chicken in some yogurt and various spices. And since we already have yogurt that we're having earlier in the day, it's one of those ways that we can just use the same ingredients and not have to buy a ton of additional ingredients. And then with this, I think I'll pair this with like a cucumber feta salad, that sounds delicious. So I'll need cucumber, I have red onions, I'll use the parsley in that as well, so you're getting double usage for the same ingredients. I'll use some cherry tomatoes, and then I'll need some feta. So with the ground beef, I also am going to make some burgers. So just like burger buns where we will grill them, we'll add on a little bit of cheese, we'll add on some onions, maybe some mustard, put it in a little lettuce bun, make some sweet potato fries, and let's do some Brussels sprouts with this. That sounds really good. So burgers, oops, sweet potato fries, and Brussels. So all I'll need for this, since I already have the protein, will be Brussels and sweet potatoes. I'm gonna use another recipe from the bundle, upgraded LA street tacos, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna make the upgraded LA street tacos for Thursday. This is also something from the complete intermittent fasting bundle recipes. And I'm also just going to keep it simple and use some ground beef for this as well. Or maybe chicken. Actually, I haven't decided yet, but since I already have it in the freezer, I don't really need to worry about it just now. And I already have masa harina. I already have the protein source here. So now it's really just the toppings. And I like to pair this with some type of slaw, like some type of cabbage slaw. And since I'm having cabbage earlier, and I already have it on hand from the lunch, I don't need to add this again to my list. And I already have onions for it. So actually I don't need anything for that recipe. So it's pretty simple. And there's also those additional items that I'll make sure I have on hand. So I order my coffee through Purity Coffee. It's the only type of coffee that I like to use because it is mold free, which if you're curious on the details about, I'll have it linked down in the description below. But since I order this, I don't need to be worried about making sure that I get it at the grocery store. But since I do have keto coffee each morning, I do need to make sure I have coconut oil and butter. And these are two items that you don't need to be buying every week. I have a massive thing of coconut oil in my pantry. Butter, I probably buy on a 
every two weeks or so basis. I know I still have a couple sticks of the grass fed butter within my fridge right now, so I don't need to be adding that either. Now that I have everything planned for my week of meals, now I can shop. In fact, if you want to check out one of my latest grocery hauls that I did for intermittent fasting, especially low sugar approach, you can check out this video next right here. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love the science fact information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, happy meal planning and I'll see you in my next video.